you see that pink glowing statue right there that glowing beam of light well that's called Cristo Luz and it's in the highest point in the city of Bonaerio this is why the city gives me more of a Rio vibe than it does Dubai because you have so many Rio similarities here in Rio there is Avenida Atlantica also here there's many beaches of course in Rio also here and you just saw there's a Christ statue here not as big as the one in Rio but still there's a Christ statue so all those things to me just gives me more of a real vibe than anything in my opinion since tomorrow is her vacation officially which I did not know but it's perfect timing we decided to visit the statue together for our first time so stay tuned for my next video which will focus just on the statue on visiting the statue until then we're just going to walk in central along the beach and continue our conversation and something that i have forgotten to ask at dinner that i remembered was what made her decide to move from the north to the south because she has no family here in the south and her reason was because she felt that it's more high paying jobs in the south versus the north and she's in the pharmacy industry and i've heard this before from other brazilians that they feel that it's more high paying jobs in the south versus the north and if you don't know there's lots of u.s based companies and foreign based companies in rio going down south so you have them in rio you have a lot of u.s and other foreign based companies especially in sao paulo and it just trickles more down south so i kind of see why lots of brazilians may move from the north to the south for a higher salary and right now what you're seeing is we're walking in the heart of Central deciding should we get dessert or Netflix and chill since she's complaining about her feet hurts. Since I live closer to the restaurants than she does because she also lives in this area, we're going to go back to my apartment and we decided to watch Ermandaji and I'm surprised that she has never heard of this series. It's a Brazilian Netflix based series and if you're trying to increase your vocab or just listen to Brazilian accents to learn the language, I would recommend you going to Netflix and look up Irmandaji, which is brotherhood and just listen to the accents and just pick up on the words and just increase your vocab. It's a good way to learn Brazilian Portuguese. And another good way is just using your basic Google Translator because you get a chance to put in things you would like to say and you get to also listen and you just keep repeating that and that's another way to increase your vocab and I would suggest that over getting a book. You get books when you're more advanced and you know more of the language. Right now is the next day and she has went home to get ready for later tonight when we visit the statue. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to go to the mall. So I decided to go to Bonario Shopping. And I just want to see what's inside. Look around. And of course, you know I have to get something to eat. And for my snack, I want to be on the healthy side. So I'm going to get like a little salad. And it has some fish also. Some eggs. I got a lot of olives. So I got some omega-3s going on here. And I'm walking a distance away from the shopping mall just to venture off and just see this area of the city and I'm gonna head back to my apartment and get ready for tonight so stay tuned for the next video